<laughs> this is a southern koala, Fasco Larctos cinereus. Fasco meaning pouch, Larctos meaning bear, cinereus meaning grey, pouched grey bear. Of course, koalas are not a bear, they're a marsupial, and the baby grows up in a pouch. Koalas are ingenious animals. They've capitalised on a food resource that not many other animals can. They eat gum leaves, which are toxic to most species of animals. If you ate gum leaves, you get sick and surely die. The gestation period of a koala is 35 days. At seven months of age, a baby koala joey pops its head out of its mother's pouch and inoculates its gut by eating its mother's poo. It's called pap. The good bacteria which it absorbs from the pap helps it to digest toxic gum leaves. Pretty clever, hey? Their huge nose is used for smelling gum leaves and their water content and also the toxicity of their next meal. When you smell a koala, pooey, you can smell all the toxins that they exude through the pores of their skin. Look at these powerful claws for gripping onto the bark of trees. These animals are exceptional climbers. Koalas have two opposable thumbs for gripping onto the branches with. Did you know that koalas have fingerprints kind of like human beings on their hands? Every koala has a different fingerprint. Male koalas make a bellowing sound like this. <laughs> and that's basically telling you to back off, stay out of my territory, don't eat my gum leaves, and don't steal my lady koala friends. A male koala has a sternal gland on the front of his chest where he rubs all of his koala smell, his B.O., basically telling other koalas where he lives. Koalas are ephemeral animals, which means they come out daytime and nighttime. Look at his big ears for listening for danger. They have excellent hearing. Koalas poop up to 200 times per day. Now that's a regular koala. Doesn't smell that bad. Koalas have a cartilaginous back. They have a big plate on the back of their bodies, which helps them keep comfortable when they're sitting in the fork of a tree. Koalas have a very slow metabolic rate. Eucalyptus leaves don't have a lot of energy content. Koalas sleep up to 20 hours a day. Not a bad life. At the turn of last century in the 1900s, there was thought to be one million koalas. Today, 2020, there's thought to be less than 80,000 koalas, perhaps only 40,000 left. Koalas are in great peril through loss of habitat, disease, bushfires and venereal diseases like chlamydia. Threats to koalas around Melbourne are dogs off leashes. Even cats will take a joey koala. The biggest issue is when koalas are on the move, they're on the ground, they're vulnerable to attack from predators like dogs, dingoes, even cattle will stomp on a koala. Koalas are often hit by our vehicles at night time when they're crossing the roads. So slow down, dusk and dawn, and keep your eyes peeled for a koala. So it's up to all of us to plant more trees and connect up the tree canopy. Go down to your garden store and check out what koala trees, gum leaves, grow in your neck of the woods. Wouldn't it be great if we could create habitat for these beautiful, iconic marsupials so they can move back into our homes too?